Well, the rain's off for just now, and I'm hoping it will stay off a bit longer for when I go out for a walk. But just now, I'm going into the church. Robert Robinson was an English hymn writer who was born in Swaffham in Norfolk in 1735. This so happens in our congregation here in Kinloch Leven. Beth lived in Swaffham for a time, so we've got a kind of a connection there. Robert Robinson was the pastor of a congregation in Cambridge, quite a big congregation. Some of his congregation were students from the university. He, had, he and his wife had 12 children, and because of his Baptist convictions, he decided that they should not be baptised as babies. That caused a bit of a stir in the town at the time. He was a very clever man. He had an inquiring mind, as well as being a pastor. He was busy as a farmer and a trader as well, and he wrote, especially in his later life, many writings. But because of his inquiring mind, he seemed to be led away from his early love of the Saviour. And part of the hymn seems to describe that sort of experience, prone, prone to wonder, Lord, I feel it, prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, O oh, take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. One day, Robinson was travelling in a stagecoach. Beside him, there was a woman whom he did not know. In the providence of God, and not realising who she was, she was speaking to, the woman started to speak about her Christian faith and how a particular hymn had made a great impact on her, the hymn, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Robinson tried very hard to get her to change the subject, but she kept on coming back to it. Finally, he said with tears in his eyes, Madam, I am the poor, unhappy man who composed that hymn so many years ago, and how I would long to get back to the feelings that I had when I wrote it then. She said to him, Sir, the streams of mercy are still flowing. He was deeply touched by her words, and as a result of that encounter, he repented and returned to his love of the Saviour. That story, to me, speaks of the dangers of being fickle, of being drawn aside by every opinion or fad. We need to stay firm, to remain with Jesus, to st stick firmly to what we know to be true. But let's remember, the streams of mercy are ever flowing. We can always come back to the Saviour and allow the Holy Spirit to renew in us our love for our Saviour. and a prayer. Lord, we return to you, we come back, because your love and the streams of mercy are ever flowing. Keep us secure in your love. We remember those who are troubled, those who are sad, those who have experienced bereavement, those who feel without hope. We commend them and commit them to your love and care. Watch over us and keep us in your love. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.